Hi, my name is Vidal Inda, presenter from Coppel, company nominated to represent Mexico in the Global Award 2018. Coppel is located in the city of Culiacán, country Mexico, and the lead nominator is Francisco Herrera. In this topic, the company should be presented as well as the PMO. Coppel is a leading retailer on home appliances, electronics, furniture, apparel, and footwear in Mexico. Coppel is a company with an accelerated growth. Millions of Mexican households rely on Coppel for fulfill their furniture and clothing needs. The origin of Coppel stores dates back to 1941, when Don Luis Coppel Rivas decided together with his son Enrique Coppel Tamayo to establish a small store called El Regalo, translated to English as The Gift, evolving into what is now Coppel. Currently, Coppel has more than 100, uh, 1,000 and 500 stores located in Mexico and Argentina. Summarizing its main milestones, Coppel's story is as follows. In 1941, they opened, they opened a gift store named El Regalo. In 1971, Coppel started to sell apparel goods from 19. 90 to 93, Coppel started growing with 40 stores every year. 2002, Coppel acquired a big shoe store chain, Zapaterias Canada, with 160 stores. 2006, a foreign Coppel, a pension fund management begins operations. 2007, Van Coppel, a bank supported by Grupo Coppel begins operations. In 2010, Coppel opened three stores in Brazil and four stores in Argentina. 2013, Coppel has 1,071 stores in Mexico, 14 stores in Argentina, and 14 lodges Coppel in Brazil. 2017, creation of Digital Transformation Area and its PMO. The PMO Department of Digital Transformation in Coppel arises from the need to manage and optimize projects, which is responsible for providing related services to support the business division within the organization, including, among others, the management of portfolios, governance, operational support of projects, and use of human resources. The PMO of Digital Transformation currently chairs a committee of PMOs in Coppel that is consolidated by the following nine business and organizational units. Digital transformation, e-commerce, project evaluation, innovation, continuous improvement, call center, credit risk, supply chain, and strategic alignment. PMO Digital Transformation Framework. The framework that best matches the form, function, capabilities, and performance of the digital transformation PMO is a hybrid between organiza organizational unit PMO because it provides project-related services to support a digital transformation business unit within the organization. Center of Excellence because supports project work by equipping the organization with methodologies, standards, and tools to enable project managers to better deliver projects, increase the capability of the organization through good practices and a central point of contact for project managers. A PMO Digital Transformation Domains of Work the domains of work or the PMO digital transformation primary and secondary work stream 
The things that this PMO does are for standards, methodologies, and processes, its tasks are methodology definition, metrics definition, process development, and improvement. For project and program delivery management, the PMO's activities are define the business goals, resource management, schedule, cost, and scope management, business realization management, risk management, stakeholder management, communications, project integration. For portfolio management, prioritization, strategic alignment, portfolio re reporting, resource management allocation, opportunities and investment analysis, benefits realization, tracking and reporting. For talent management, the main things to do are training, career paths, career development, capability and skills development, and certifications, qualifications, and credentials. For governance and performance management, performance reporting, issue escalation, information distribution, metrics and KPIs, compliance, financial management, PMO performance management. For organizational change management, its responsibilities are customer and stakeholder satisfaction, managing resistance to change, stakeholder management and communications. For administration and support, the PMO's responsibilities are provisioning, implementation and support, the PPM software and collaborative tools, and consulting. For knowledge management, the activities are defining knowledge management policies, lessons learned and content management and collaboration. For strategic planning, confirming strategic priorities, defining business goals and aligning two initiatives, environmental scanning and opportunity analysis. PMO history. In this topic, a timeline should be presented detailing the PMO history since it was created. The milestone for digital transformation PMO history is, in September 2014, Francisco Herrera, currently PMO and portfolio manager of Digital Transformations PMO, led the definition and implementation of project management methodology for a new created area in Coppel, innovation. This was the first effort to adopt a project management methodology in the company according with global best practices. In September 2016, continuing, continuing with the effort of the adoption of project management best practices in the company, the lead nominator Francisco Herrera conducted an innovation project management methodology tuning in the tailoring and creation of project management office in the innovation organizational unit. In December 2016, following the example of the creation of the PMO in the innovation organizational unit, a new PMO was created by Francisco Herrera, the lead nominator, in a new microfinance business unit in the company. After that, PMOs in other business and organizational units of the company began to flourish, like e-commerce business unit, credit risk, continuous improvement, call center, and supply chain. January 2017. By mandate of Coppel's board of directors, the organizational unit Digital Transformation was created and run in operations. In March 2017, was born Digital Transformation Project Management Office and the current portfolio and PMO manager and lead nominator Francisco Herrera was put in charge. In June 2017, Digital Transformation PMO lead the creation of the PMO Copper Committee with a center of excellence framework. Five business and organizational units started the committee, and today there are nine and counting business 
and organizational units of the company who belong to the committee. The initial objective of the PMO COPEL committee was agreeing on a common framework for project management, define a tool together, and form a center of excellence to share the best practices that led to the maturity of project management within the organization. The main deliverables agreed by the PMO's committee were to establish a generic life cycle with its generic phases, deliverables, templates, and fields for all the projects of the particip participating areas, as well as circles of excellence to calibrate the documents and fields to be used. Likewise, the PMO PMO's committee be began with the re revision of PPM systems belonging to the quadrant of Gartner, arrived to define three and a matrix of evaluation of the PPM software main functions was established to evaluate those systems. Later tests of concepts were requested and currently the committee is working on the implementation of the set system. September 2017, the project portfolio for digital transformation area is created. It is used Office 365 as a repository for projects in the area and the dashboard of the portfolio with its weekly status is implemented. The first hiring of for PMO program manager was made. Uh, in November 2017, the PMO defined and established in the organizational unit its portfolio and project process and methodology. The hiring for the first PMO financial analysts and project leaders were made. Definition of technological vectors. Which um, these technological vectors are the same as programs in the PMI's methodology. In December 2017, the definition and authorization of the process of evaluation and prioritization of business cases for initiatives of projects was established. <coughs> All the initiatives began to be evaluated following that process. The Digital Transformation Portfolio Committee was established to evaluate, prioritize, and allocate resources to all requested project initiatives. January 2018. The monetary value of all the projects belonging to the digital transformation portfolio was evaluated. All the new initiatives are evaluated financially before being reviewed by the Digital Transformation Portfolio Committee. February 2018, a certification program for the PMO project management methodology is launched to the area of digital transformation. At the same time, the training of the common project management framework of the PMO's COPEL committee is established. March 2018, the concept of technological vectors program management were defined. All the projects were classified according to these technological vectors, and a champion for each technological vector, a person who enthusiastically supports, defends, and fights for the sanity of the technological vectors is appointed. PMO structure. The organizational structure of Digital Transformation PMO is formed by a portfolio and PMO manager, two program managers, and seven PMO project leaders, and two financial analysts. The PMO and portfolio manager supervises and coordinates all the digital transformation PMO roles to achieve the objectives of the department, the final strategies to improve project management capabilities in the area, provide timely and accurate monitoring of each project and portfolio. The PMO program managers 
supervises and coordinates the PMO project leaders and or staffs in his her church charge to achieve the technological vectors programs objectives, ensuring that they implement strategies to improve project management capabilities in their area, provide timely and accurate follow-up to each project. The PMO project leader role coordinates teams and project leaders in his area throughout the life cycle of the project using standardized project management practices so that the project finishes on time within the planned budget and the objectives are met with quality. Some of his responsibilities are to develop and to dissemin disseminate the best practices in project management with the project team and the organization, to conduct research and be in contact with the periphery to detect and develop analysis of best practices in project management in accordance with emerging trends and practices nationally and internationally, to identify throughout the constant monitoring of projects, lessons learned, areas of opportunity and improvement that can be implemented in the business areas for project management. For example, project management tools, processes, standards, etc. The PMO financial analysis determines expenses and costs, creates budgets, executes and validates the procedures for their control and guarantee that the expenses and investments of the digital transformation projects are adjusted to the amount and authorized financial calendar. Determine, determine, evaluate, and monitor the cost-benefit financial viability and potential economic value of the quantitative benefits of the digital transformation projects. All the operational processes of the PMO area are supported on the following structure, internal standards, stakeholders, and internal structure and talent. For the structure of internal standards that the area has, there are defined collaborative tools and software for portfolio and project management, internal processes map and documented documentation to be carried out for projects, status proje project and portfolio reports, and indicators of performance of the PMO area to measure the fulfillment of its objectives. For the part of stakeholder structure, the correspondence have been defined in each strategic priority of the company, internal suppliers, internal customers, systems areas, and functional alignment. Coppel has nine company strategic priorities, known as strategic axes, which are increased efficiency, productivity, and simplicity, consolidate the omnichannel strategy, increase the life cycle of the client, develop and digitize financial services, develop efficient systems, big data and analysis, implement the strategy of competitive categories, strengthen innovation, research and accountability, and promote culture and organizational development. For part of the internal structure and talent, the PMO has defined with what external consultants will be working, the training that the team needs to receive, the job profiles of the people that make up the center, with what performance indicators will be measured, the productivity of the center and organizational structure that is going to have. The relationships with or other areas of the organizations are the PMO belongs to the area of strategic planning. It has relationship of subordination to which it reports the results of its objectives. It has other parallel centers in which it has a direct relationship in the projects. With the area of change management office has a relationship of collaboration 
with this area sees everything related to the change management of projects and participates directly in the identification and evaluation of the stakeholders, in the definition of the metrics of project communications, in the implementation of change management in projects, and they are champions in the knowledge area of project stakeholders management and in the knowledge area of project communication. With the technical competences and certifications, the area, the PMO has collaborative relationship. They are responsible for the execution of certification and training of technical skills in project management in the company, which is defined by the PMO area. With the IT governance area, it has collaborative relationship because together they establish business processes and rules for business architecture, strategic alignment, responsible services and infrastructure, standards, and how they process them in the management of projects. Their relation with the staff area is of collaboration through its business liaison. They are contact between the internal areas of the company and the project team. The G digital transformation PMO manager interacts with the rest of the area managers in digital transformation acquisition of new technologies, research and development, and staff area to review, evaluate, and prioritize the project initiatives and with the PMO managers of the business and organizational units of the company to check that the initiatives are not duplicated. There is also a service relationship with the other areas of digital transformation because each of the projects has an assigned PMO project leader to support them in controlling, monitoring part of the project management methodology. With the area of continuous improvement, it has an alignment relationship, given that each project must have identified all the business processes that are going to be impacted. That is why this information must be included with the projects with the approval of continuous improvement. With the project evaluation area, there is an alignment relationship given that each project must have identified all the benefits that it will generate. The project evaluation area gives its approval to the calculation of those benefits that the applicant area determines. With the chief technological officer, chief information officer, chief operation officer, and chief executive officer, the PMO has a reporting relationship. He has to be reporting those stakeholders the status of the projects of high strategic priority. Now, in the operation of each project, the PMO interacts with the following departments in the following way. We continuous improvement has to give the approval of the business processes that is being affected and how it will be once the project is implemented. With the project evaluation area, it has to receive the approval of the estimated benefits of the project. Subsequently, the project has as clients the areas of acquisition of new technologies and research and development. The PMO has to ensure that the projects are attached, aligned to the areas of IT governance, systems architecture, data architecture, measurement of software, and UX, CX. Later, the areas of technological competences and change management enter as extended project teams working on their project deliverables. Finally, the project is integrated into the organization through the organizational units of development of software, operation, and IT. After the implementation, a post-mortem analysis of the project is made. PMO Objectives Mission Manage portfolios, techn technical vectors, and projects, evaluating their strategic contribution to the business, commercial, functional, legal, among others, 
and their technical viability in terms of the capabilities and technological maturity of the digital transformation area, monitoring performance indicators to maintain a balance between research and development and contribution to the business, convert digital transformation into a high performance organizational unit in project management and increase above the industry, the portfolio and project management maturity. PMO objectives, become a high performance organizational unit completing 80% of or more of projects on time, on budget and meeting their goals and business intent. Um, manage the technological vectors, programs, and the pro project portfolio. Increase the organizational unit project management maturity. The fourth objective is all projects with valuation and verification of business and benefits realization. Number five, certification of the technical competences of the project leaders. To fulfill the functions of the PMO, ad hoc project management framework has been defined with the digital transformation areas, which has the name of E-Agile, which is the acronym of evaluation, approval, uh, gestion, which is management, iteration, and liberation or release. Each of the phases are described below. In the evaluation phase, the initiatives are received through a business case and an estimate of the benefits reviewed, evaluated, and prioritized in the portfolio committee of the PMO. In the approval phase, the work team that will work on the initiative is assigned, the project charted, and the stakeholder register and evaluation are drawn up and approved. In the gestion or management phase, the project plan is carried out and the schedule, the budget, and the scope of the project are determined. In the iteration phase, the work plan is carried out according to the working method of the area that will execute the project, the deliverables are approved. And finally, the uh, release phase, the closing act of the project is made. To fulfill the functions of the PMO, uh, we have defined uh, PMO KPIs. Knowledge management, provide knowledge about their assigned project management area of knowledge. For productivity, 80% of project on time, number of assigned projects per PMO project leader, and in normative uh, category, 100% of compliance with project management methodology. PMO results. Okay, before talking to uh, about PMO results, um, we're gonna talk about uh, main functions of the PMO. To have all the project initiatives, uh, you have to be aligned with this strategic axis to ensure this, when a project applicant wants to propose a project through an initiative, he has to elaborate a business case document. And in its field, he has to indicate the strategic axis to which the initiative is aligned. And he has to justify this alignment. At the beginning, the initiative is called idea until the idea has been evaluated and is confirmed that it is aligned with the strategic axis of the organization. It does not become an initiative the digital transformation PMO manager serves as the first filter to ensure that the project is related to the selected 
strategy. The Digital Transformation PMO Manager reports directly, directly to the Digital Transformation Corporative Manager and belongs to the IT department. The Digital Transformation PMO Manager interacts with the rest of the area managers to review the initiatives and also with the PMO managers of the other departments of the company to check that the initiatives are not duplicated. The, the operation of the PMO is funded by the corporative management of digital transformation. The digital transformation PMO supports the function of project portfolio management function for the corporative management of digital transformation through the following process. The applicant contacts a PMO business liaison from the digital transformation corporative management and he gives to him the initiative described in the business case together with the initiative economic benefits document that the initiative will generate to the company. These benefits are developed in a concept of of the company called expected annual net profit. The PMO business liaison reviews the initiative described in the business case document and according to the type of project request, a technical leader from the digital transformation corporative management that is related to the type of project and ask the applicant to meet. Uh, the technical leader and the PMO business liaison review the information of the business ca case document with the applicant to confirm information and receive feedback. The PMO business liaison sends the business case document and the economic benefits document to the financial analyst of the digital transformation PMO. The financial analyst reviews together with the applicant the economic benefits of the initiative and sends the business case document and the economic benefits document to the manager of the digital transformation PMO and the portfolio, same person. The digital transformation PMO manager reviews the business case document and the economic benefits document. And based on these documents, he assigns priority to the initiative within the portfolio, he verifies if there is a technical leader and a project leader available in the digital transformation team. If there is no technical leader and it is a project that has significant economic benefits to those projects that are executing, the digital transformation PMO manager proposes to hold a current executing project to assign the digital transformation technical leader to this new initiative. The Digital Transformation PMO Manager calls the Digital Transformation Portfolio Committee that is composed of the Digital Transformation Area Managers, Corporative Manager, and the Financial Analysts of the Digital Transformation PMO. The Digital Transformation Portfolio Committee confirms the priority of changes are proposed. The PMO Business Liaison notifies the applicant of the committee's decision. The Digital Transformation PMO Manager presents to the company PMO Committee the projects assigned in the month. The Digital Transformation PMO gather all the PMOs of the company in copper for a total of up to the eight areas so far. More, more areas have been joining during the sessions. A charter was made of the PMO Committee where the initial objectives were specified of the Copel PMO committee spaces specifying the following. Determine the same method of work, define profiles, define a PPM, a project and portfolio management tool, create a center of excellence for project and portfolio management. In the first objective, a standardized work framework was defined, which included the generic life cycle, including phases, as well as the minimum documents to be used, non-negotiable, and the extended documents. This was optional to be used if the area already had some similar. From the documents, it was agreed which fields would be used. With respect to the second objective, the profiles, they are defined for the positions of portfolio manager, program manager, and project leader of the PMO. Currently, 
the project leader position is being strengthened and aligned with the talent tri triangle of the PMI. For the third objective, a portfolio and project management software tool is being implemented to be used for projects, programs, and portfolios in all couples PMO in order to standardize the project and portfolio methodology. For the fourth objective, monthly meetings are being held to give feedback on the use of the documents and the fields in the, in the standard methodology. This is to improve the project, program, and portfolio capabilities. The process that uses the digital transformation PMO for value and performance tracking and measurement is done starting from the business case document, where the applicant has to determine the economic benefits of the project from the beginning. They will be compared at the end through a postmortem review carried out by a lateral area next to the digital transformation PMO called Change Management Office. CMO. During the execution of the project, status reports are being reported indicating how it goes with respect to cost, schedule, and objectives. When the project is completed, the objectives, schedule, and budget are compared against what was done and the economic benefits that were determined later in change management office area together with the financial analysts of the PMO follow up the project for up to one year to see what were the economic benefits that were determined versus your result. Since the business case document, it is established what the economic benefits will be, how they will be measured, how often they will be measured, who will be responsible for measuring their performance metrics, and what time the results will be achieved. For the function of talent acquisition, Digital Transformation PMO has specialized area within the company called precisely talent acquisition that helps the PMO with, research, with search. The PMO also has an agreement with the local and Mexican PMI chapters where the vacancies are published and through the job placement office of the local and regional education institutions where some of the members of the PMO give classes at the university level and masters. For the role of financial analyst, it is sought to fill vacancies also in the local and region, regional professional associations of public accountants. For professional development, a career track for PMO project leaders is used, which consists of covering each of the aspects of the PMI's talent triangle. For the technical project management knowledge side of the PMI's talent tri triangle, there is an internal course of methodology in project management and an internal certification in three levels. The first level is a certification that endorses the knowledge of the methodology. The second level is a credential that endorses that the knowledge has been applied in a certain number of projects of certain sizes. And the third level of is a senior PMO project leader apply the methodology. Hence, there are several, several levels of specialization in the areas of knowledge, of schedule, scope, costs, benefits management, and risks. For the leadership PMI talent triangle side, it is covered with the several internal courses that have the internal corporate training of the company, such as communication, teamwork, business presentations, negotiation, leadership, etc. These courses are mandatory in a, in a time frame. For the strategic and business management PMI's talent triangle side, each different role and position has an itinerary inside the company, which they have to take a tour and know each of the business areas peripheral to the digital transformation PMO and with which they have interactions with internal clients, supplier, alliances, stakeholders, etc. This role itinerary is mandatory and is one of the organizational assets process uh, of the company. For the professional development of the different PMO roles, annually there is a design 
uh, a mapping of the all special PMI events held in the country, the Global Congress in North America and Latin America Congresses that are on the periphery of the country. And depending on the PMO role, each one of the members attends according to their PMO role to their respective events. So that 100% of the events and 100% of the PMO team's members are covered. Upon his return, each of the members has to make a summary presentation to the PMO team with the highlights of his visit. On the other hand, quarterly virtual events are searched on the PMI projectmanagement.com page where the different conferences are distributed among the members and a summary presentation is made with the most important points. There are roles in the PMO that are known as champions of knowledge area, where each leader has to specialize in at least one PMBOOK area knowledge. That is, uh, there is a PMO project leader that is champion of the schedule, another of the scope, another of risk, etc. The role of champion means that he has to promote advocate and disseminate the correct use of area knowledge in addition to being responsible for reviewing and updating the deliverables of the area of knowledge assigned to him. Any proposal he has to review and, if necessary, update. Program managers are champions of his uh, programs which are called technological vectors and to have reviewed the correct relationship on and fulfillment of program objectives. Financial analysts are the champions of the business case, the budget, and the management of the benefits. Okay, one of the main challenges that the organization faces is to filter and prioritize all the initiatives requested. Subsequently, give formal follow-up to these initiatives. Avoid the scope creep, find sponsors committed to the project initiatives and accountability. For the priori prioritization of initiatives, a business case document was defined and officialized in the politics of the company. It's part of the organizational process assets where the objectives to be achieved are established as well as the strategic priority, priority axis of the business to which it, it's aligned, and through the estimated net annual benefit, uh, which is the economic benefits document, which in economic benefits, that is the initiative is trying to achieve. Based on these economic benefits, the strategic initiative is prioritized. To have a committed sponsor, once the strategic initiative has a priority to begin, it is really requested to the applicant or a project owner of, for the strategic in initiative. And this person will be the project sponsor. The main role of the project sponsor is to be the champion of the project, authorize the beginning and advocate for the execution of the project before top management. To avoid reduce the scope creep, in the projects, a project charter was defined and implemented to be, to be clear about the objectives from the beginning of the project and later with the project work plan, where the requirements to establish the scope are collected. Then the schedule and the budget are made. And with this, the project baselines. With the project baselines, the work plan is established and any change had to be requested through a process that had to be approved. For accountability, the initial objectives, the baselines, and the expected annual net profit economic benefits document of the project are compared with what was actually obtained in the project and its conclusion to subsequently improve. The digital transformation PMO is the one that gathers the committee and the one that shares and leads the PMO committee sessions to define and achieve these results. For the corporative digital transformation area, the PMO has established the current portfolio, a process to evaluate and prioritize all the new strategic initiatives 
has certified in the methodology seven project leaders and has trained 30 project leaders among the company. Among the improvements in operational effectiveness or delivery of, of tangible value back to the organization that have been obtained. There is a percentage profit in the company for installing a specialized software for microfinance, a percentage of recovery of the past due loan for the reconfiguration restructuring in loans and a percentage increase in collector efficiency due to installation of GPS systems. In summary, the PMO results are establish a process to receive, evaluate, um, prioritize project initiatives, establish a project portfolio and evaluate all its projects, financial benefits, certify the project leaders of its area and its project management methodology, establish the project management training in a company level, establish and preside the enterprise PMO defining a common project management framework. Okay, um, PMO next steps. In this topic, the PMO evolution plans should be presented for the next 12 months, reporting actions plans to increase the maturity of the PMO and the organization. For the coming year, the PMO has the following plans. Within the five aspects of evaluation of Gardner PMO maturity level, we have identified the following capabilities points for the next 12 months for consolidation of the PMO. For the capability of people, conclude e-agile methodology certification for 100% of the technological transformation project managers and stakeholders. Conclude training for all project managers of project role and app in the company. In conjunction, with the certification and technology technical competence area, define the career plan for project leaders as well as training requirements in and new job profiles. Standardize project leader profiles at company level with certification and credentials according to experience. Formalize the career plan of each project leader as well as their training aligned to the talent triangle of the PMI. The potential impact of this plan is to have better project leaders who can deliver better project results, enable e-learning for self-training in project management. For the capability of practices and processes, conclude alignment of methodology from other areas of digital transformation uh, versus the methodology of the project management office Certify the company as a, a REP, Registered Educational Provider, or of internal training for the potential impact in the organization to ensure the quality of the internal training for the project leaders and they can deliver better project, so that they can deliver pro better project results. Have a consolidated portfolio of projects and initiatives required in three key areas innovation, continuous improvement, and digital transformation, call themselves as trifecta. Formalize the integrated process with the Office of Change Management for projects. For the capability of management and financial value, define a financial model for project management of the digital transformation portfolio that includes the measurement of subsequent benefits postmortem. For the capability of technology, decide the portfolio and project management tool, software, and implement for the members of the COPPEL PMOs committee. Implement a PPM, project and portfolio management software, at the company level where all initiatives are centralized and ensure that the process of the project and portfolio management methodology is followed within the tool. This plan will potentially impact the organization to avoid duplicating efforts and achieve project management productivity, becoming an organization of high performance in project management. 
for the capability of relations, formalize review sessions of portfolios and initiatives with the areas of trifecta and IT deviation systems to identify duplicate projects that the PMO committee reviews all the strategic initiatives authorized each month for the benefit to avoid duplication. This will potentially impact the organization to reduce waste and to take better advantage of the resources of the organization. To inform status through the management of projects and technological vectors programs in the portfolio and benefits to IT division. Okay, uh, on our side, that's all. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity uh, for nominating our company couple in this PMO Awards. Thank you very much and goodbye.